respected elders educationists the teachers and their students welcome in this class we are going to see a conversion of a direct speech into indirect recording interrogative sentences that is conversion of interrogative sentences having wh words that is the rules recording the conversion of question sentences having wh words come let us see what are the rules what are the rules we have to follow english grammar direct and indirect speeches part 5b interrogative sentences questions with wh question words i mean video 253 eighty 13 13 for 2024 direct and indirect speeches interrogative sentences rules for converting interrogative from direct and indirect speeches dear students i have already explained that regarding uh, uh, question sentences interrogative sentences in english there are two kinds of questions one set of questions interrogative sentences having wh words another set of questions are without wh question words recording the conversion of interrogative sentences without wh words we, hope, uh, we saw in the last class in this class we are going to see the rules for converting for converting interrogative sentences having wh question words come rules for converting question uh, questions with the wh words into indirect speech rule 1 the reporting verb said to or said should be replaced by asked or inquired or inquired inquired or inquired both of us even this word is also pronounced as inquired inquired here he here i inquired in any one of these uh, three reporting verb can be used as the reporting verb but normally we are using asked so said to has been changed into asked rule 2 question marks should be removed and no conjunction should be used that is in in the interrogative sentences having no wh words that is the interrogative sentences without wh question words if for whether if or whether was used as the was used as the is being used as the conjunction but in interrogative sentences having a wh question words that question word wh word itself functions as the conjunction so here we have we got to use no conjunction at all but wh word available in that sentence is to be used as the conjunction okay so he said to me what something else he asked said to ask then what the what quotation only removed what it is to be in i mean um, in, in 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 the capital the w could be in capital in the direct speech 
when it is converted into indirect na w alone so it changes from capital to small then verbs so see regarding the verbs i have divided into two parts part a question or questions not having b verbs that is am is are was were questions having b verbs and questions questions having only b verbs and questions not having b verbs that is the questions not having b verbs i have taken in um, in part a it is what are the actual is with the question words do does a did have has had will would shall should may might uh, can good and must these are the actual verbs what i mean without be verbs these these are the actual verbs and be verbs are separate and is are and was are they are a part because uh, 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 they have some um, certain a uh, certain set of rules be verbs have certain set of rules to be followed likewise these will do uh, do does it etc these non be verbs have some sorts of rules to be followed here let us see i have i have grouped these in part a if there is a do or does after the w is word that is if if there is a do or does after the w h word in the reported part the do or does should be dropped and the verb after the subject normally it would be in simple present it would be in simple present not normally it would be in simple present that the verb in simple present should be changed into its past tense into its past that is do or does should be dropped and the verb after the subject it should be changed into its past he said to me what do you study said to asked quotation mark removed and this w is changed into small what do is removed and the subject and the verb to study after the subject uh, has been changed into its past studied so the, and regarding the subject here the subject is you it is the second person refers to the here so you refers to the me me is the first person singular so the subject you has been changed into the, into a first person subject first person singular subject i he said to me what you study he right he asked me what i studied he asked me what he said to me what you study he asked me what i studied he asked me what i studied then it does a question yeah a question with it does he said to me what is your sister study what does your sister study that person so said to ask it w removed w that is removed and study has been changed into studied its past tense you were refers to me and it has been changed into first person the first person singular my so he said to me what is your sister study he asked me what my sister studied then if there is a did if there is a did in the question what what you have to do if there is a did after the wh word the did should be changed into had and placed and replaced and placed after the subject if there is a did it should be changed into had and placed after the subject and then the verb already existing after the subject should be changed into its past participle that is if there is a did in a question 
and the, the work of the subject would be in simple percent so when the date is changed into heard the simple percent tense were existing after the subject should be changed into its past participle that's all he said to me what did you study said asked what did uh, did is changed into heard and placed after the subject you the verb study has been changed into its past participle studied it is not past tense studied past participle then subject you refers to me and beyond you has been changed into i you are past person singular subject he said to me what did you study he asked me what i heard studied he said to me what did you study he asked me what did what i heard studied then so we have seen regarding do does study if this a book of say then do does should be removed and the verb after the subject should be changed into past tense okay if there is a did that uh, did should be changed into had and the verb after the subject should be changed into its past parts then recording have if there is have or has if there is has have or has it should be changed into its into had and be placed after the subject then recording the verb or verbs after the subject no change should be effected no change should be done he said to me what have you studied said to asked what what quotation removed capital small how can be changed into had and placed after the subject and the past participle already existing after the after the subject studied studied uh, 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 has been cut as it is you refers to me here and it has been changed into i okay he said to me what have you studied he asked me what i heard studied he said to me what i what have you studied he asked me what i heard studied then has he said to me what has your sister studied said to ask the question what has has been changed in the head and placed after the subject that's all he said to me what has your sister studied he asked me what my sister had been studied you were refers to me first person so the first person singular possessive is my if there is had it should be placed after the subject without any change if there is had it should be placed after the subject without any change he said to me what had you studied then said to ask what what had had has been replaced after the subject and everything there the recording from verbs how been cut as they are you refers to me you is the subject the subject for the first person singular me is i so you has been changed into i he said to me what had you studied then he asked me what i heard studied then so we have seen if there is have and has it should be changed into had and paste after the subject and and other verbs regarding other verbs no change should be done if there is had it the had alone should be placed replaced after the subject then thirdly if there is will then or may it should be changed to to the respective past tense and placed after the subject will would can good may might he said to me what will you study tomorrow said to ask what what will is changed in the would and placed after the subject would 
then no change in according to should be done. U refers to me and has been changed into I. Tomorrow, the next day. Adver, he said to me, what will you do tomorrow? He asked me what I would. He said to me, what will you study tomorrow? He asked me what I would study the next day. Similarly, he said to me, what can you study tomorrow? The same with the rule is the same. He asked me what I could study the next day. Similarly, may. He said to me, what may you study tomorrow? He asked me what I might study the next day. So, the rules are will, may, will, can and may. The rules are the same. Then, regarding shell, if there is a shell in the question, it should be changed into wood, not into shoot. You know, because uh, the meaning, if, if, if it is changed into shoot, uh, the entire meaning of uh, the sentence uh, would be different. So, shell should be changed into wood, not into shoot. Unless otherwise, the conduct required. So, okay, shell should be changed into wood and placed after the subject. He said to me, what shall I do, what shall I study tomorrow? Said to ask me, what, what, shell has been changed into wood and placed under the subject. And no effect regarding the work, no change regarding the work has been done. Study, study, it is kept as it is. Then tomorrow, the next day, adverb has been changed. Then I refers to the subject. For I, first person, refers the subject to he. So, I, I has been changed into he. I has been changed into he. Why? I is the first person. Refers to the speaker. Speaker is masculine gender. So, I has been changed into he. He said to me, what shall I do? What shall I study tomorrow? He asked me what he should study the next day. See, if there is what? Should, put or should, or might, or uh, I mean, uh, sorry, put or would, or should, or might. This auxiliary should be simply replaced on the subject. That's all. Then, regarding the verbs, no change, no change should be done. He said, he said to me, "What would you study tomorrow?" Said to ask, "What, what?" Put is replaced under the subject and no change has been done in the work. Tomorrow and work has been changed into the next day. So, okay. He said to me, What would you study tomorrow? He asked me, What I would study the next day. Similarly, but the same, he said. He said to me, what would you study tomorrow? He asked me what I could study the next day. The same as we have done and would. He said to me, what would you study tomorrow? He asked me what I could study the next day. Then a recording might the same is the case. He said to me, what might you study tomorrow? He asked me what I might study the next day. If there is then, if, then another part. If there is must, if, if, if there is must in the question, it should be changed into had to and place after the subject. And regarding the verb after the subject, no change should be done. He said to me, what must I study tomorrow? Said to asked, what, what must has been changed into had to and placed after the subject. And no change has been done in the verb, existing verb to study. Studying has been kept as it is. Okay. Then tomorrow, the next day, then I first person refers to the speaker. If the speaker is 
um, masculine gender. So I has been changed into he. He said to me, what must I study tomorrow? He asked me what he heard to study the next day. So far we have seen, do have and that is will can etc. and master. All these things we have seen. Now in the second part we are going to see the questions how the viewers and is our password. They have the auxiliaries are that the auxiliaries do does or do do have the will etc. That they have the separate roles. And recording be verbs and is or was well. They have a set of rules to be followed. See, if there is a, you should be, if there is, see, if there is a in the question, it can be changed either to was or well according to the subject of the change, according to the subject of the uh, indirect. Sentence according to the subject of the indirect sentence. He said to me, What am I playing now? He said to me, What am I playing me? Here I am is here, said to ask to what? Um, here the subject is I, first person. So it was the speaker. Speaker is masculine, masculine gender. So I has been changed into he. He is third. Uh, he is a singular, third person singular. So the word was, has, uh, the am has been changed into was and placed after he. Singular subjects would take only singular. Plural subjects would take plural. As he is a singular subject, it has taken the singular beaver of past tense was. So here, I has been changed into was and placed after was. I refers to he, speaker. So it, it has been, I has been changed into he. No change in the existing word. Now it has been changed into then. He said to me, what I am playing now? He asked me what he was playing then. Then, second. He said to me, what I am playing now? Here, the subject is he. He said to me, what am I playing then? Now, here, you said to me, what am I playing then? What am I playing then? It's the same question. But here, the reporting, the reporting subject is he. But in the second example, the reporting subject is you. I mean, second person. It may be either singular or plural, uh, that is immaterial. But it is in second person. He, uh, second person both singular and plural. Uh, only uh, plural verb, uh, verb is used. So, you said to me, what am I playing now? Said to, asked, what, what? Here, I refers, I is the first person, it refers, uh, it refers the subject. The subject is I. It, refer, it refers the speaker. The speaker is second person. So I has been changed into second person. Subject you. You yes. You the second person would go uh, the second person both for singular and plural. The second person both in singular and plural would take only a plural verb in English. Not in Tamil, in English only. So, app is changed into where, past tense, and placed of other subjects. It's okay. I, as I is changed into you. The verb app has been changed into where and placed of other subjects. Recording verb, no change. Recording adverb, now has been changed into. Then, so he said to me, What am I playing now? You asked me what you were playing then. Here, he asked. Here, you asked. Here, he asked what he was playing then. 
here you asked what you are playing okay if there is is if there is is no uh, no problem at all the is should be changed into was and based after the subject he said to me what is your brother playing now said to ask what quotation small brother what the persons of is i mean is change into was it has been changed into was and placed after the subject that's all you were second person the first to the speaker me i mean hearer me so i mean at the second first person um, first okay uh, that's the first person first person and uh, singular possessive is my so a uh, your has been changed into my that's all regarding uh, play no change regarding the adverb now it has been changed into then so he said to me what is your brother playing now he asked me what my brother was playing that then regarding uh, if there is r the r can be changed either to was or when as as we uh, as we uh, did in regarding a uh, see if the subject of the changed uh, uh, if the so uh, if the subject of the uh, changed uh, sentence if the subject of the indirect sentence is singular or should be changed into was and placed after the subject if the subject of the uh, uh, indirect sentence is plural then the r should be changed into a and placed after the subject that's all okay. he said to me what are you studying now said to ask what what here yeah, you refers to me me is the first person singular so you has been changed into i that is the subject of the indirect speech indirect part is i singular so r has been changed into singular be verb past singular be verb was and placed after the subject r has been changed into was and placed after the subject it is because the change in the, the subject of the indirect sentence is singular that is i no verb recording doing and now has been changed into that so what uh, he said to me what are you doing now he asked me what i was doing then then recording i see he said to me what are your parents doing then said to ask what what here yeah, parents are plural parents are plural so the r has been changed into where and placed after the, the subject that's all so said to uh, and you are me my doing is capacities and now it's been changed into that so he said to me what are your parents are doing now he asked me what my parents were doing then here you are refers to me first person singular so the possessive or the first person singular is my so your has been changed into my that's all so he said to me what are your parents are doing now he asked me what my parents were doing then so here we have seen what are the rules to change the interrogative sentences carrying the verb be verbs and is of then lastly we are going to see the rules for changing the direct into indirect when there is the verb did i mean was or were if there is was or were in the interrogative sentence either was or were no matter the was or were should be changed into had been and placed after the subject 
was or were should be changed into had been and placed under the subject and no change should be done regarding the verbs already existing there he said to me what was your brother doing that said to ask what was has been changed into had been and placed under the under the subject brother had been so here was has been changed into had been that's all you were refers to me so it has been changed into my doing no change then no change so he said to me what was your brother doing that he asked me what my brother had been doing that what my brother he asked me what was your brother doing that he asked me what my brother had been doing that here he said to me what were you doing that he asked me what were you doing that you see there see is asked here see here the subject you refers to the speaker me so third person first person singular so you has been changed into i as i is a first person i is a singular subject the word i mean and what but that doesn't matter whatever it is it's singular or plural where had been where has been changed into had been and placed under the subject where had been changed where have been changed has been changed into had been and placed after the subject you here you refers to me so it has been changed into i and no change no change regarding the verbs has been effected here and the order then is cut as it is so if there is or or were or i mean was or were in the verb it should be changed into this past i mean had been and change and place out the subject the, 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 we need not bother about whether the subject is in singular or plural the, 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 there is no question about it it is quite immaterial was or were should be changed into had been and placed out the subject that's all so medium students thus in this class we have seen but uh, i mean vital factors some vital factors regarding the conversion of uh, interrogative sentences having the wh question words here the first said to as i uh, the reported to the said to has to be changed into as that's all okay whether you inquired or inquired because you can use uh, if you uh, if you want it but regarding the conjunction the wh word itself should be used as the conjunction if or whether should not be used here if or whether is uh, should be used as the conjunction only in question words uh which do not have question words a uh, question sentences which do not have wh word conjunction if or whether it should be used that's all then regarding the regarding verbs the, the regarding the verbs do does they should be drunk uh, and the verb or the subject should be changed into its simple past if, if if there is did it should be changed into had and placed under the subject and the verb already being there should be changed into its past participle okay that is that is uh, the sentence says past past perfect had plus past participle what's okay then regarding here if there is have or has it should be changed into had and the place not the subject and regarding the verbs no changes should be done if there is had it should be the had itself should be placed not the subject that's all no change in the verbs then if there is will uh, will can could it should be changed into its respective possessive so would could or might and place not the subject no change in the verb should be done if there is would should could might this auxiliary should be simply replaced not the subject no change in the verb should be done other verbs should be done 
If there is shell, it should be changed in the wood, not into stone. It be changed in the wood and placed after the subject. And regarding the words, no change. And if there is, I mean, uh, wood, wood should, wood should go on that. That should be simply replaced after the subject. If there is must, it should be changed into third to and placed after the subject. And regarding other words, no change. It is. Then regarding the B words, if there is a, it should be changed either in uh, either into was or were according to the subject of the I am a reported speech and placed after the subject. If the subject is singular, was. If the subject is plural, were. It's okay. Then the recording is, if there is is, it should be simply changed into was and placed after the subject and no change in other words. If there is are, it should be, it can be changed, uh, it should be changed either into was or were. According to the subject of the reported word. That is, if the subject is singular in the changed form, in the indirect form, Singular was plural were. That's all. Then, thirdly, if there was, if there is was or were in the question word, this was or were should be changed into had been and placed after the subject. Recording the number of the subject, whether it is singular or plural, no question. You need not bother about it. And if the verb is in past, if was or were, it should be changed into had been and placed after the subject. That's all. These are words. So, my dear children, my dear children, my dear grandchildren, recording the verbs, recording the conversion of direct and indirect speeches. The main rules recording recording the verbs is the main. So I have I have uh, splitted it. I have splitted it into four parts, five parts, and I have given you in a simple way. So go through it again and again. So cut these videos, save it, and go through it whenever any doubts arise to you. You simply go to that and ask it and it, it will tell you and it will uh, clear your doubts. It's okay. See, in the next class, regarding the B-Works, regarding the direct and indirect speeches, some common sentences, like having, I mean, having with the cleft sentences for the statement, imperative, interrogative, and then recording, I mean, um, uh, exclamative sentence we got to see. In the next class, we will see the sentence regarding the exclamation. How, what are the rules regarding and the changing of the exclamative sentence, uh, sentences in the indirect speech. That we, uh, that we will see in the following class. Dear students, dear elders, educationists, dear teachers and dear students, I wish all of you. First of all, uh, I, uh, I thank you for listening to my class. And we show off you a whole nice and sweet time till I meet you in the fall in the next class. Thank you.